All right, YouTube. Got a pretty cool self-defense type blade to share with y'all that I just got. Had this for about a week. <clears throat> and I got this as a more of a concealed carry. Uh, it's a small fixed blade, obviously. Something that can be discreetly carried in either the pocket or waistband. And... Go ahead and pull it out here. A little easier with it in your pocket. This is the K-Bar TDI Pocket Strike. It's AUS-8 steel. Made in Taiwan, which is unfortunate. You know, I thought K-Bars were all American made, but I was wrong. Little lanyard hole. So, just quickly, I actually took my Dremel router and rounded off all these edges. These were all 90 degree edges. And it was not very comfortable to put your finger in there. And the corners were all just sharp. Not sharp, but, you know, 90 degree corners. So, um, which I think is fine for just a concealed carry self-defense only knife. But my plan is to carry this as a front pocket pocket knife alternative, you know, a pocket fixed blade that I can carry in my front pocket to use at work for little cutting and stuff like that. So I just wanted to go ahead and make that more comfortable right out of the gate. Um, the knife comes incredibly sharp. I touched it up just lightly with a... Uh, guided diamond sharpening system and then a couple of swipes on a fine diamond rod and this thing takes an edge like you would not believe wicked sharp and uh has not done a lot of cutting yet but as far as i can tell the steel is is not as hard of course as something like an s35 or a 3v but it's hard enough to be a good working knife it's uh, very comfortable, very compact, and I have, you know, very large hands, and I can fit my fingers in the in the finger hole that they provide. Um, I'm not sure why it's got that funny shape, but I know some engineers that have a lot more experience than myself designed this thing, so I'm sure there's a reason for the funny shape, and and it's not uncomfortable. It just looks a little funny. Nice little blade. Um, if you go on Amazon and look, there are at least one or two reviews where the person says, knife doesn't fit in the sheath, wrong sheath, sending it back, it's junk, it's, you know, whatever. And there's a video of someone who literally does that. They take the knife, they set it in the top of the sheath, and they go like this. Like, see, it's garbage. Was that so hard? No. And these funky wings on the side, what those do is if you shove this down in your pocket with the pocket clip on the outside, when you grab to draw the knife, those corners just catch on your pocket so that you can pull it out of your, pull the knife out and leave the sheath in your pocket. Um, at very first, the retention was ridiculous. Like, to get the knife to seat in its sheath. I mean, you had to really generate a little bit of force here to get it to sit down in there. But just like with any other sheath ever made since the dawn of time, it loosened up and now it's just normal, normal retention, a little push and it comes right out or a, a little tug. You know, it's nothing ridiculous, nothing crazy. And uh, even now that it's loosened up after about a week of carrying it, it, you know, it secures the knife where it's not going to fall out. So, very happy with this little booger. About $65 on Amazon. And I would definitely not want to be on the wrong end of this thing. Um, as far as a self-defender, 
you know, fighter knife, that little puppy right there would do some damage. But for me, it's just going to be a utility, you know, cutting zip ties, plastic, cardboard, whatever. And I'll just sharpen it as needed. Beautiful knife. Crazy happy with it. And um, it seems like the new thing is to carry a pocket fixed blade instead of a pocket knife. Now, this, nothing can ever replace my Espada for my front right pocket. But I've got this pocket clip on this side so that I can carry it, you know, blade to the rear, left front pocket. And uh, I like it so far. It does take up a lot of room in your pocket, but at work, I, you know, I have a couple of Sharpies, a couple of carpenter pencils, so there's plenty of room in the pocket for this clipped in there, stick some pencils in there in the same pocket. Um, but, you know, the sheath could be, um, you know, I could see it that the, the thought that it basically takes over your pocket. You know, it's, it's a pretty good sized object to have in your pocket. You know, it's going to take up the amount of room that a cell phone does just you know, to be honest, these little tabs is what retains the knife on the inside. They have a little lip and that, that lip slides past this edge here. And, uh, that's what retains the knife in the sheath. So that's what those little cutouts are for. K bar. This side is just plain. It's not crazy thick, you know, nice thickness for a small knife. The, the handle scale, scales are hard plastic, but they do have a nice little texture, which is, it's not crazy grippy, but it is more grippy than slick plastic. And it looks really good. It's just a good looking little, you know, come at me knife. Super cool. Just wanted to share this with y'all. And um, I'm very glad that it's stainless steel, um, you know, rather than a carbon steel. Just, it'll stay cleaner that way for me living on the coast. Get a lot of salt, salt in the air, salt in the water, surrounded by salt water. So, cool little knife. Um, and that's about all I have for it. I haven't done any crazy cutting or anything. I've done some paper slicing. And, um... Just a, a great knife at a great price. Thanks, K-Bar, and enjoy.